Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com, and in this video, we are going to talk about what the difference is between a prepaid card and a secured credit card. I had someone ask me about this recently. Sometimes people get confused on what each of those is and how they are the same and how they differ. Mostly they differ. But before I do that, I would ask you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not already. And if you have, I thank you for doing so. So, like I said, someone had asked me recently, uh, you know, what's the difference between a prepaid card and a secured card? They basically thought that a secured credit card was the same as a prepaid card, and they're actually uh, very different. So we're gonna talk about what those differences are. So let's talk about prepaid first. So a prepaid card, some people say prepaid credit card, and it's really not a prepaid credit card because there is no credit involved. So this may be a Visa, MasterCard, uh, or American Express on the outside, but what it is is essentially a debit card you are loading money into an account, and when you use it, uh, you know that money is coming out of the account. You're not getting a loan. There's no credit involved. It's your money being put on a card, and then you're using it, just like any other debit card, right? So it's really sort of something that you use for uh, convenience, uh, in order to be able to, uh, you know, not carry as much cash, to be able to use it on the internet or uh, by phone or, you know, even at retail stores. That's really what a prepaid card is for. A lot of times people get prepaid cards um, if they don't have a banking relationship or for whatever reason they have a bad previous banking relationship and are having a hard time getting a checking account. Uh, you know, that is how that happens. So a prepaid card, you either, you can fund it online sometimes, sometimes it's the re retail stores. A lot of them uh, uh, will allow you to direct deposit your paychecks onto your uh, prepaid card. So all of those are ways that the money can get on there. But no matter how you slice it, you are taking your money, putting it on the card, and then spending it. So it's essentially like cash. It's just, you know, the, the mechanism for making the payment. Now, because it is like cash, there's a little safety concern there. You have to hold on to uh, that prepaid card or someone else, if they get their hands on it, could then use that card and, you know, use all the money that you have put onto it. But bottom line, it is a debit card. You do not get any sort of, uh, uh, you know, there's no sort of credit aspect to it. You're not taking out any sort of loan. And if you're someone that, uh, you know, has credit problems or you're hoping to build your credit, a prepaid card is not going to do it for you. It's really a convenience and, uh, you know, a different way to use your money. Now, a secured card is very different. Again, this is a Visa, a MasterCard, or Discover card, but it's essentially the same as any other uh, credit card in terms of how you use it. You get the credit card, you can make your purchases up to your credit limit, and then each month you pay off the card. The big difference is that you have to put down a security deposit in order to get the card. So say you put down a security deposit of $300. Now they may give you a credit line that's the same as that security deposit, but that money is not being taken out of your security deposit in order to pay the bill. So it is not like a prepaid card in that way. That security deposit sits off to the side. It's the same thing as if you had a security deposit uh, deposit on an apartment. You know, you give them money in case there's damages and when you move out, they give it back to you assuming that, you know, you've done everything you're supposed to. Same with a secured card. You give them money up front to secure that card. You use it in the way that you're supposed to and provided that, uh, you know, you've paid everything off by the time you no longer want that secured card because, you know, you've got a better credit card or for whatever reason, assuming you've paid everything off, you get that security deposit back. So you never are paying out of that security deposit for your monthly purchases. You're using it just like any other credit card. Now, the big upside to this, you might say, well, why would you want that, right? Because I give you a security deposit just to use a credit card that I can, you know, pay every month that doesn't make sense to a lot of people. But the big difference or the big reason that you want this is because it does help you build credit. You are being given uh, a loan here. You are getting credit. You may have put down a security deposit, but because you're not paying out of that security deposit, you know, you're not, it's not a debit situation. You are actually building credit when that credit card uh, you know, reports to the credit bureaus, assuming, of course, that you are making all your payments when you're supposed to. Your credit's being reported. I assume that's you building credit because you're doing everything right. If you do everything, uh, you know, or something's not right, you may not be building credit. You may be making your credit no better than it was to begin with. But the point behind a secured credit card 
is to help you to build credit and that security deposit is just sort of a safety for the bank in case you don't pay your bills. But assuming you pay your bills, and I'm sure you will, if you have a secured card or if you get one in the future, you will get that security deposit back when you are either upgraded to a regular unsecured card or you just don't want the secured card for whatever reason. But again, the big difference, the prepaid card is essentially a debit card. It's your money on there and it's just being debited off as you, uh, as you use it. There's no credit aspect, you're not building your credit score. Secured credit card, you're putting on a security deposit, but that's not touched when you make your payments, and you are building credit assuming you uh, make your payments on time. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please put them down in the uh, comments below, and I would be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Please go to proudmoney.com where we do other credit card reviews and personal finance news and other fun stuff too. Thanks for watching. Bye.